Good morning, everybody. Unfrequented World, and it is time to do some winter scouting. Zero degrees this morning. Supposed to be nice all day. There's only five inches of snow in the bush. Stan has agreed to meet me, and we're going to hike part of the trail system which had that munitions plant on there. We're looking for other foundations now that the brush and everything is down. Uh, we should be able to see quite a bit more, and we're hoping. Uh, that with there only being a minimum amount of snow here, we'll be able to walk through the bush anywhere we want and do some pre-season scouting for next season. I'm going to bring the camera and the dog. We're going to make a day of it. entertain the dog. Turn the windshield washer uh, wiper on. You can't figure it out. Uh, a little more snow out here in the bush than at home. <laughs> they got three foot banks on the side of the road. I don't know. Stan says he's good to go all day. I don't know. I don't know either anymore. So Stan's just in there in the uh, office asking permission for us to park here in the yard. The trail we want to hike is uh, straight through here. And that joins up to the uh, the old munitions plant about three, four miles down there. Somebody's ready to go. So there it is, right there, the 140 year old trail. It's a lot deeper than we thought it was going to be, but still walkable, I think. We'll go just far enough to tire Stan and the dog out. Yeah, it's probably close to a foot deep here. Yeah, a lot more snow out here than we thought. The dog's gonna sleep good tonight though. So what was there on this end of the trail, on Stan? On this end of the trail, there's one beautiful ancient cabin in here and the old stone house were the two original things on the old maps on this road. Okay. But then on the other side of the trail, there was seven, maybe eight homesteads. So, so, so this road would be good to detect just the road itself then? Like where you found your 1902 double double. Yeah, yeah, same trail. This just is, yeah. this is the other end. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're getting to that point where there is too much snow to see foundations. And they're going. Oh, it's just crazy. Crazy. Could have detected right here. That's about it. A few wet spots along the trail. So I'm kind of glad I didn't carry all that extra gear. I was going to. You, you can tell how clear this was because the trees are all small. It was literally. Oh yeah, there was lots of lots of activity here a hundred years ago. It's just to find those exact spots. Stan's looking for foundations. I'm looking for big footprints. We're gonna do a two-in-one movie. <laughs> no sign of the big guy so far. Yeah, we're only three quarters of a mile, maybe a mile down the trail. I can feel it walking through this snow. It's a workout. Yeah, you can carry me on the way back, Stan. <laughs> he says it'll be easier on the way back. If you guys go back and watch the video Stan and I made the first time we tried to get to the munitions plant and we walked through the bush and we came to a wet spot, we were on the other side. This is the wet spot here. And so we came in from the other direction and we didn't know if we could cross this or not. So we're gonna find out today how much water is actually in here. If it's frozen, you know, we're gonna check it out. So the old road just crosses right here. Right through this big swamp. There's actually two wet spots. 
No moose tracks, no deer tracks. Snow's too deep right now. I play squash three times a week. I'm beat right now. And Stan is breaking trail, so he does good for an old guy. I'll give him that. I heard him yell up there. He said, even the dog's getting tired. Woo. You getting tired, buddy? You getting tired? Huh? Wanted me to break trail there a while ago. Woo. Next thing you know, he'll be wanting you to carry him. Big that gate. On the road. So how old is that cabin in there? Oh, 100 years. 100 years. Off the old road, buddy. So we're gonna find the old cabin in here somewhere, wherever it is. It's tough going, guys. Real tough going. I watched the Datloff Pass documentary, Stan. Did you watch that one? Which one? The Datlov Pass where the Russian skiers got eaten by the Yeti. <laughs> okay, we're going, down. going downhill. Not down, far. <laughs> he no. said I'm going down. I didn't know if he was going to topple over or if we were going downhill. He says, I think we might have took the wrong trail. <laughs> Not that I don't trust Stan, but I'm going this way. I'm going to cross right there. <laughs> Yeah, overheating pretty good now. Can't see out my glasses. Okay, forget the bloody dog. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. It's like a friggin', I don't know what he's like. But he's gone. Friggin' gazelle. Canadian gazelle. He's yelling, I think he found it. I hope he found it. Please, God, let him have found it. No. That isn't it. To look across the cabin, the ground was consistently low. We're back up in the highlands here. Definitely not in the right spot here. We're gonna have to turn around, unfortunately. Only one of us might make it out of this adventure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the dog will try to drag me. I don't know about you. Can you just park me under a tree here somewhere, Gary? <laughs> Come get me in the spring. Okay. Give me a service. Just gonna hibernate. <laughs> My new nickname is gonna be Chernobyl because I'm about to melt down. Whew. If Stan was trying to take me out in the bush miles and have, have his way with me, I don't have the energy to fight him off right now. <laughs> Don't go down the trail with the gate on it. That is not taking you where you want to go. <sighs> We're going to carry on here. <sighs> Maybe another mile, but that's about all we got left in us. So we reached the second wet spot here, and now he says, well, it might be ahead of us. Whew. I don't know, Stan. It's been 20 years. Maybe we need to just let it go. And right here, guys, this is why you don't see too much adventure on my channel in the winter. It's just impossible to get out. You couldn't detect here even if you wanted to. Um, but it's beautiful. Stan doesn't like the look of the wet spot. So he says, you lead for a while. <laughs> okay, Gage, you lead, buddy. Oh, it's open there. Run, run, Gage. Now nah, it feels pretty solid, actually. Sploosh. It's like everywhere else. Stan says, fire up your camera. I'll show you on Google Earth where the 
where the roof of this thing is. I said, Stan, it'll show us where we are. Why didn't we do this three miles ago? <laughs> now you got to hold your breath, Stan. <laughs> So we did. I'm guilty. <laughs> so we did pass it. We were on the right trail back there. The trail with the gate. There is. A, I can see a roof on Google Maps in there at the swamp. So it was down there to our left somewhere. We're gonna see. Maybe we might go back in. We'll see. It's a long ways, guys. Oh no! He says he's found the trail. <laughs> this big uh, dead spruce here was blocking the trail when we walked in. So he says this is the trail. All right, I'm gonna trust them. No? Well, according to Google, the camp is way out on the other side of that swamp over to the right. And where we went in the trail was down there a mile. And it was kind of circling back around. So the camp's somewhere in there. We just don't have it in us to walk anymore today, unfortunately. It seems like every time I try to find this place with Stan, you know, the munitions plant, the little uh, seven or eight foundations that are in here, we get foiled every time. But it hasn't stopped us, we keep trying. Well, guys, that's it, we're heading back to the vehicle. Foiled by snow. Too much snow in here. We had a real good hike. Uh, probably been a few hours out here at least. So hopefully in the spring we can try it again and find some foundations and uh, get this expedition underway. Okay, we're back at the car. We're going to show you guys one more place. It's an 1880s uh, original stone building still kind of standing and we have permission for that. We're going to try that next spring, but I'll just show that to you guys on the way out. See, look at the pain Stan goes through to show you guys adventures. Uh, it's, a, it's a syndrome. It's called Raynaud's and it affects your feet as well as your fingers. It's called old age, Stan. Yes, yeah, it's called old age. <laughs> <laughs> so right there is the old 1880s foundation and we just saw there's a garage as we drove by right here in this bush. So next spring, this will be one of the ones that we check out for sure. <laughs> 